So the eigenvalues are roots of polynomials. In the real world, outside of the classroom, that isn't how you'd find eigenvalues, but it still has some significant results or some significant corollaries, maybe I should say. Suppose that A is an N by N matrix. Then the eigenvalues are root of nth degree polynomials and reminding ourselves of what we know about polynomials. A has at most n eigenvalues. An nth degree polynomial cannot have more than n roots. So because eigenvalues are roots, we can talk about multiplicity and counting multiplicity. A has exactly an eigenvalues. Again, this is just a fact about roots restated. Let's sort of state the sub result. Any matrix has at least one eigenvalue. There's the fundamental theorem of algebra. Do note that Nowhere in the definition of eigenvalue do we use the phrase real number. A slightly more abstract but still important result. is that there is no algebraic way to find eigenvalues of matrices that are bigger Then four by four. And again, this is a result of polynomials restated. You can find the roots of second degree polynomials using the quadratic form to the. Nobody ever learns them, but there is a cubic form to the for third degree and a quartic form to the for fourth degree. For fifth degree polynomials or higher, there is no form to the for finding the roots. All you can do is numerically estimate them. And because that is true of roots, it's true of eigenvalues.